molecular biologist Cristina Sanchez from Computense University in Madrid and British oncologist Y. Lu found that marijuana can drive tumor cells to commit suicide. So, apparently it's very effective alongside traditional cancer treatments. They say, quote, We observed that the cannabinoids were very effective in reducing tumor growth. Cells can die in different ways, and after cannabinoid treatment, they were really dying in the clean way. They were committing suicide, which is something you really want. Cannabinoids have a complex action. It hits a number of important processes that cancers need to survive. Um, apparently, Lou told the Huffington Post in October 13 that, quote, for that reason, it has really good potential over other drugs that only have one function. I am impressed by its activity profile and feel it has a great future, especially if used with standard chemotherapies. Now, I should also mention the National Cancer Institute also says that the treatment doesn't kill regular cells like other cancer treatments do. So, chemotherapy isn't targeted. It just kills everything, which is why it kills cancer cells, but it kills healthy cells along with it. One particular cannabinoid called uh, cannabidiol, cannabidiol, quote, may make chemotherapy more effective and increase cancer cell death without harming normal cells. Now, I should mention major caveat when we're talking about this here. This is just coming from uh, the molecular biologist Christina Sanchez and uh, British oncologist Y. Lu. They say they both separately, uh, you know, found this out and experienced this. But I should say, I, as far as what I was able to pick up from, from the story and the article and as much as I read about it, it doesn't appear like there was a study that they were quoting. They weren't saying, well, hey, we did this study and this was the result. So this is just the opinion of, granted the educated opinion, but the opinion of a few doctors that it appears to have this effect here. So the bottom line is what we need to do is actually study it now. Take that next step and go, oh, wow. Well, let's, you know, put some money into this and figure it out. And if it's true, have the FDA approve the research and get to work. I mean, we're looking at a way to kill cancer, which is supposedly even better than just regular chemotherapy, which is more broad in its attack. So uh, it's an amazing thing. And it just shows you the laundry list of things that weed either helps with or can potentially help with. It really is amazing. It really is amazing. The therapeutic effects of stuff like this. But also other things, too. We talk about it all the time. The study where MDMA or ecstasy helped with PTSD. The study where LSD also helped with end-of-life depression. You know, we should be going all hands on deck, going all in for figuring out and studying all these different drugs that are considered illegal and considered Schedule 1. Because they're not actually Schedule 1 in the sense that you know, it's defined as, oh, it has no medicinal value and no potential medicinal value. We know that's not true. We know it's categorized like that for political reasons, not scientific reasons. So scrap the politics side of it and get to work for the actual science reasons because the next cures are just waiting out there if we just do this research and dive into it.